Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to create a guest or visitor account in Windows 10. This tutorial is geared towards computer users who are sharing their computer with another individual, but they do not want them to be able to change PC settings, install applications, that kind of thing. So this is especially useful if you have to share your computer with somebody else. And there are a couple different ways to do this. Basically we're creating a local account but I do want to show a, what I consider to be a quicker way to do this than most methods out there. So what we're going to do is head over to our Start button and we're going to right click on it. Left click on Command Prompt Admin. When you get a user account control window, select Yes. Now what you want to type in is net space user, another space visitor, Another space, forward slash, add, another space, forward slash, active, and then colon, yes. Now click enter on your keyboard. Okay, so that command was completed successfully. Now what you want to do is type in net user visitor. one more space and then finally an asterisk at the end. Hit enter. Now if we want to enter a password for the guest account we can enter it at this time. However personally I do not want our guests to need to enter a password when they're logging into the computer. So I'm going to intentionally leave this blank. How I do this is basically just click the enter key again and then that will insert a blank password for the account and then when you ask to retype the password to confirm just click enter again on your keyboard and we can see the command was completed successfully so now what we want to do is type net space local group another space users and then you want to type in visitor another space forward slash delete then click enter see the command was completed successfully. If out of curiosity you want to know what that does, it basically removes the visitor account from the default users group. At this point, now we want to type in net local group guest plural. Remember this is plural guest. It's very important you get that. And then type visitor. Another space forward slash add then click enter. This will add the visitor account to the local guest group which is definitely more restricted than a local account. So while this is a local account in its own right it's definitely a little bit more restricted. So very simple at this point we can close out of our command prompt. If we head over to our start button just if we were trying to switch into our guest account we can open up the start menu here and if we click on our username at the top we can see that our visitor account has been created. Another way to access this is if we logged off of our account here, or if we restarted our computer, we would see there is an option to log into our visitor account. And since we did not set up any password for it, anybody could easily click onto the account and access the computer. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.